Welcome to our MATLAB tutorial series. Today we are going to explore two essential functions for managing your work. Who and whose. These functions help you keep track of variables you have at any point in your code. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all here we are going to create some of the variables. Let's say from A to I, these are the different variables that we have in this script. So first is the who function. Who provides a simple list of all active variables currently in your workspace. It's very handy when you need quick glance at what's available without cutting your screen with the details. Let's say these are the variables. We are going to put this over here in command window and we have executed. So these are the list of variables in our workspace. Now for time being I'm going to clear this command window. So the command window is clear now, but we have all these variables in our workspace. So now when we write who and enter, it will show us the list of variables that we have in our workspace. Here we have variable only a to i. It's very handy when we are using big code, big program where we have multiple variables. Some of the variables are like small a, some of them are like capital A. So in that huge group of variables, this command is very helpful. Now next we are going to talk about who's whos, which is like a supercharged version of who. Whos not only lists the variables, but also gives detailed information about each one, including their size, amount of memory use, class type, and if the array is complex. Now let's say we write whos and let's say enter. All the variables, its size, bytes, class types and other attributes if we have already given. So this command outputs a table showing each variable with the details about their size, memory and the types of data they are. This whose command can be incredibly useful for managing your workspace especially in sessions with many variables or large data set. You can see how much memory each variable is consuming which can help you optimize memory usage by clearing variables that are no longer needed. For example, in any of the calculation, we are not using G. So if G variable is not that much important and useful in any further calculation, we can clear specifically G. That will vanish from our workspace. Now let's do CLC and write again whose and press enter. And you can see there is no g variable. So it is very useful in clearing variables that are no longer needed into the program. So when you are programming in MATLAB, remember this, keeping an eye on your workspace not only helps in managing memory, but also makes your workflow more efficient. And that's the key for effective programming. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit to the bell icon for more similar videos on MATLAB. See you into the next video. Bye-bye.